What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the best guns to use in Warzone after the big Season 5 nerfs and buffs. First, let's start it out with the SMGs. There's lots of SMGs to use right now. The Marco, Blixen, and Armagura were the big three and they all got nerfed. So now all the viable options are even more viable and the old metas are now viable. So it's now like a fine big line of a bunch of really good SMGs to use. First let's start it off with the Armagura. The Armagura got a damage nerf but still has got good mobility and accuracy. So it takes about 15 shots to the chest average to kill someone. Uh, but that'll be more like 20 if you miss a few shots. Uh, so. It's still pretty good. I recommend it for solos, tri duos, trios. But if you get into a big fight, quads, it's going to be iffy. You might have to reload once or twice. But this is the build I use. It's great. It's got good mobility, really good accuracy. And it's amazing on console and uh, keyboard and mouse. It excels in almost all categories except range because of its damage drop off. But other than that, it's amazing SMG to use. Let's go to the Blixen. Blixen was also one of the big ones, but it got nerfed. Use since the Blixen was one of the biggest guns to ever use, we found basically every good build to use with it. So the old builds are still the best builds to use with this gun. This is the build I use. It's got good mobility, good time to kill. Uh, it was nerfed slightly for time to kill, but still quite good. But the accuracy is greatly nerfed on it. It's a lot harder to hit a shot, but close range is still super good, especially because of its large mag. Now let's go to the MP5s. The, I'm going to do the Modern Warfare MP5 and the Black Ops MP5 together. This is Modern Warfare MP5. If you use anything, I'd use the Modern Warfare. The difference between Black Ops and Modern Warfare is uh, Black Ops has higher mobility but slower time to kill. Modern Warfare has slower mobility, faster time to kill. So there's a trade-off there. You pick which one you want. I don't use the Black Ops one personally, but this is the Modern Warfare one I recommend for console players and controller players because it's less mobility oriented but if you have good aim this is an amazing gun and you will excel in a lot of fights using the Modern Warfare MP5. Let's get in to the MP7. This is a very viable gun to use before but since all the other ones got nerfed now this is one of the better ones to use. It's great sniper support, it's got a really good damage drop off and still excels at damage, magazine size, range and of course, uh, time to kill. It's got okay mobility for an SMG. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Uh, g really good ammo capacity with 50 rounds as being the regular, and 60 rounds if you want to switch to that, with only a slight difference. It's got really fast ADS, amazing range, so this is a great first sniper support, and I recommend for all sniper supports. Uh, except for the Marco, which can beat it in some situations. So for Fortune's Keep and Rebirth, I recommend the MP7. Let's get in to the well gun. The well gun was really good before, but it was beaten out by the other ones for magazine size. Since the other ones got nerfed, this one is really good now. The well gun is now one of the best guns to use. It's got an okay DS, but it's got good mobility, time to kill. The only bad thing about this gun is its magazine size. It only has a 40 round mag, so I only recommend it for solos and duos. You could maybe do trios if you reloaded it a bunch of times, but other than that, uh, it's an amazing gun. It will beat almost everyone in solos and duos, and I recommend for controller and keyboard and mouse. Next up on the SMG list is the MP40, similar to the well gun. Uh, it's got really good everything, except this one has a faster ADS and better mobility, uh, but this one only has a 45 round make, so again, only solos and duos can't really use this in anything higher. Uh, but, we, for the last one, we have the Marco, was previously one of the best guns to use, it was nerfed, but what it still has is range. This has the amazing damage drop off, excelling over every other SMG for range, so this is amazing sniper support, I recommend for Caldera, I recommend MP7 for Rebirth and Fortune's Keeps, because I think the MP7 has a slightly faster time to kill. But other than that, this is an amazing gun I recommend for teams, I recommend for Caldera, simply because you can beam people at medium range even with this SMG and it has the exact same time to kill close range as it does medium range so it's amazing there it will it's really good close range and really good long range which we don't see very often like the Milano it's really good at range but it lacks in close range this checks both boxes it's really good this is the build I use and I recommend for everyone let's get in to of course the ARs technically 
The laser gun is an AR. This is the new EX1, or CX1, I think it's the EX1. Uh, it's the laser gun. You get this blueprint really early off. I've been using it. It is completely overpowered. This is going to completely change the meta for ARs. I recommend this gun 100%. There's also this very cool 8-bit blueprint for it, which is okay, but this blueprint it gives you right off the bat is amazing. It's got zero flinch. It's got zero... Uh, bullet drop it's a laser gun so there's three different types of it there's automatic there's burst and there's of course charged uh, the charged version I think is the best because you hold it down you charge it up and you shoot and it'll, if you hit someone in the body it's an instant break hit someone in the head it's an instant kill there's no damage drop off and it's got super good bullet velocity on just just blue this blueprint alone so I recommend for range using this charged up variant of I think it's the barrel it's got zero flinch, so after you go and lock the gun at tier 15, I recommend slapping like a 10 times scope on this thing, and it is one of the best snipers you can use. So, it's amazing at range. I think this outplays almost every other gun. And remember, this is an, uses AR ammo, not sniper ammo. It's got three second reload time. You can have, it's got 19 round mag. Now, okay, that's AR ammo, so you're going to basically infinite ammo. If you only have 19 rounds, it can one-shot headshot at any range. Completely throws the sniper meta out the window. The uh, It can have a 120 round mag, but still has a 3 second reload time. The reload time is the same on all magazines, but the automatic and burst variants, since you can't charge it up, it does very small amounts of damage, making it like 40 bullets or something to kill someone if you're shooting chest shots at like 50 meters. So it's not very good there, but with the charged range is amazing. I'm going to do a completely separate video on the new SMG and this new laser gun. It's completely so stupid. And this new SMG looks like it's going to be amazing. It looks like what the Blixen was before it got nerfed. So that's really good. Let's get in to the next AR, the M4A1. Everyone's seen the M4A1. It's been uh, one of the very viable guns to use for years upon years, since the game came out. Uh, so the, it's the best loadout for it hasn't changed. You can maybe change the barrel to the M1 Grenader if you really want that, uh, but other than that, it, this is the best thing to use. You can change the optic to the three times, except I sort of like this uh, reflex slate. It's just more of an in-between, and it gives us slightly more mobility, but you can s easily switch this to the three times VLK, and you'll be great. So I do recommend this gun for all beginners. This is a very safe gun to level up if you're new to the game, simply because it hasn't been nerfed or buffed for years making it very safe and unlikely to change so if you're looking for a good reliable gun that won't change and will always be the same m one's your best bet let's go to the next one the automaton what this automaton does is it does not have the best time to kill but has a 75 round mag really good accuracy so this is amazing for team fights on caldera maybe even uh... or really good on rebirth and uh... fortune's keep but Caldera might lack a bit, but it still excels. I you it's, could still very well use this on Caldera. This is the build I use. It's great. I try to focus more towards damage in this build, but still got I kept that accuracy. You can maybe change the barrel out for something with more accuracy, like the ZAC 600 will give you slightly more accuracy. But uh, the anesthesia does give you more damage, increasing the time to kill a bit, which is very useful if you have the peripheral blueprint for it. It has almost all the things you need. Uh, it's got all the stocks, uh, muzzle, barrels, and all that stuff. All I changed was under barrel, an optic, maybe even the rear. But other than that, it's an amazing gun, and I recommend it for beginners, controller players, PC players, everybody. Now let's go to my personal favorite AR, the bar. This is been viable, and then not viable, then viable a bit, then not viable. It's been in and out, but in uh, the recent, recent buff, uh, it got buffed to a 50 round mag. It was originally 30, which was ma made it very bad. Then it was 40, so it was viable. Now with the 50 round mag, it is amazing. I recommend it for everyone. This is the th build I use for it. The one thing about the bar is it's fire rate, so I actually slapped the recoil booster on it. And it excels at medium range. You will be, if you hit your shots, it's gone insane time to kill. I recommend this gun for everybody. Uh, if you're new to the game, if you're good at the game, if you're on controller, keyboard and mouse, doesn't matter. This gun is good and is very viable. 
for the last, let's get into the snipers. My personal favorite sniper of all time, Pellington. The Pellington, I think, is the most underrated gun in all of Call of Duty history. It's been. I've f seen people sleep on it. I've seen one or two news articles on, on videos on this gun, but I've seen almost nothing recently. Uh, I have an entire video comparing it to the Modern Warfare Car 98, and this beats it in every category possible. It's got a, one of the fastest ADS snipers in the game. It's got amazing stock scope. It's got really good mobility. Fast ADS faster reload time than that Modern Warfare car. It's just a good gun overall. It's got good range on top because it's a light sniper. It does not have a one-shot infinite one-shot headshot range. But other than that, this is an amazing gun. I recommend it for all players who like using a light sniper. You will love this Pellington build. Now for the final gun, the ZRG. The uh, ZRG and HDR were the top snipers, but a few patches ago, like a month ago, the HDR was nerfed slightly. Uh, making it uh, have less flinch, or more flinch, uh, making it not that viable. Well, the ZRG, on the other hand, is still a very strong gun. It's got almost zero flinch. It's got uh, th the biggest uh, body damage in all the snipers, so if you hit someone in the chest, instantly broke them. This is the build I use. It's got really good ADS for a heavy sniper, like way faster than HDR. It's got the fast bull velocity, almost no bullet drop. And it's got zero flinch, so you don't even need to use or hold your breath. And this is great if you like to use snipers. I recommend this to everyone, controller, new, professional, keyboard and mouse, whatever you are. Use this gun. It is good. That's all for the video, and go have a great day. What's up, guys? It's me from the future. If you look at this graph right here, 95.22% of you aren't subscribed. Please press the subscribe button. It means a lot to me, and it helps with the channel a lot. And if you really like the video, press the notification button.